Roger, don't even think about it, Roger. Don't even think about it. Don't think about it. I've told you before. Pack it in. Pack it in. Good one day. <laughs> Sure, our dogs have got bark at us. Right, just had a parcel arrive, which I'm hoping is. Yeah, screen protector for that camera. Right. Okay, let's see if I can do make a better job of it this time. Don't need that, I know it works. I've done enough of these things. That's the little one. I want one of those. That one, I reckon. Okay, that can go back in there. That can go back in there. So I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to take the camera out of here. I'm actually going to fit this with the camera running. So, just for an experiment. So, wet and dry. So, obviously, that one first. Followed by that one, followed by this feather in here. Dry one. Rub. <laughs> no air bubbles, no dust. Hopefully, that's a better job. Right, go in the bin. Still got some spare ones in there. Uh, keep that just in case. So, the reason I put these protective lens covers on, especially on the GoPro 8, is the lens is not replaceable, or it is, if you send it back to the factory and give them lots and lots of money. And to be honest now, it wouldn't be worth doing that. So for the sake of uh, uh, six quid for a packet of six covers, I think it is, which is two each for each glass uh, surface, so the lens, the front screen, the back screen, it's about six quid. It's kind of worthwhile um, protecting the camera because these fellas do have a hard life. Uh, he gets dropped quite a lot. So rather than buy a new camera, although I do have my new GoPro 10, which I'm still struggling with. I don't know, I thought it was the SD card, but that seems to be okay. Um, all the settings on there are the same as that one. There is no reason why it won't come up on my uh, Windows Movie Maker program, uh, the sound comes up, but no picture. So either there's a fault with the camera. I don't know. Right, anyhow. Should we go and check some cattle? Let's go and check some cattle. Come in. Yeah, you come. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. What do you reckon? It'd be quite nice if we could have a peaceful Sunday sometimes, but I don't know. Folks seem to like to walk the footpaths on the Sundays and makes my dogs bark. So I don't get a peaceful Sunday. Do I? No. There are some places that cow, cow brush just don't get in there. Just be in there. In it, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. See? This is like a powered cow brush, isn't it, this one? You want some as well? Okay. Don't get jealous. Yeah. 
That's better than a brush, isn't it? It takes less effort. Okay? Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, they got plenty in there. Um, I topped that bale up. That feeder was half full last night. I put another bale on top. And they've not really got through it, so I don't think I'm going to be refreshing that bale today. Biscuit, where are you? I'm getting filthy feet somewhere, aren't you? What are you doing over there? Come on. Come on. Stop pulling in that dirt. Oh, have you found something over there? Yeah, she's found something to pee on. Which is far more important than listening to me. Uh, so you're all happy, aren't you? Hey, eh? all happy. You're happy. Yeah, he's happy. Knows. She's happy. And you lot in there, you still got plenty as well. You'll have to have a bell first thing in the morning because that ain't gonna last you much past breakfast tomorrow. Everyone in there is nice and happy. Happy. Right. Um, so, the ultrasound lady, who rubbed me up and down and looped me earlier, said she could not find a uh, blood clot anywhere. No arterial blood clots anyway. So as far as I'm aware, that kind of releases me to do some of the things I want to do, because the doc said, rest, don't move around, don't do this, don't do that. Just sit there and do nothing. But I'm kind of thinking that a bit of gentle exercise can hurt me. So, let's go see the sheep. I might regret this a little bit because it's half past two in the afternoon. Half an hour ago, the sun was out, sky was blue. So, there's the bit of blue sky, but there's coming from that direction is coming this way and in the last 10 minutes the temperature has dropped two or three degrees which doesn't sound like a lot look at your bullfinch I'd like to show you the bullfinch but he's quite small although he's bright pink with a black cap I don't think I'm gonna get close enough for this camera to pick him up anyway come on you but I do like to see the bullfinches around okay what do you reckon the chances are of me getting out in the golf course without at least one of the collies chasing after me? My money is on Pepper will be with us at any minute. Pound on it. You owe me a pound. Maybe two pounds. <laughs> right. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think the sheep just like to rub against things like posts and knock them over. Bloody sheep. Okay. So Pepper disappeared. Come on. Come on. And I know what she was looking for. She's out there. They'll be over that hedge looking for Mr. Squirrel. Uh, which I shouldn't really encourage if it's a sheepdog or a collie, whatever else. But um, we haven't done much training in the last week, 10 days. Partially because I didn't feel like walking very far because it hurt. Um, but partly because it's been pitting there in rain all the time. I mean, it's actually drier out here than I thought it was going to be. But it has been really wet. Come on, you. That's biscuit. If, she, if they find a squirrel, she'll join in. Because squirrel top trumps everything. But if they're just running around down here, she'd just rather not be involved. Would you? Come on, princess. We said squirrels. 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 Where are they? Squirrels. Nope. 
not convinced. It's all very quiet. Pepper, Pepper, come on, out of there. All very quiet in there, our little wildlife corner. Uh, I'm not going to go in there because the dogs are with us and I don't particularly want dogs in there. Whatever is happily living a nice peaceful quiet life in there. I don't really want disturbed. A bit pointless taking the dogs in there. So, um, earlier today we watched a muntjac buck out in the main field in front of the house herding a, a muntjac doe. She was trying to get over to us at the field. I'm going to see where she's got a calf over there. And um, he was determined she was not going over there. Not until he'd done what he wanted to do. Um, so, uh, we don't want that in here. I can go over there. Uh, Muntjac boat bucks will pretty much relentlessly chase a doe until she relents and he has his way with her, so. Right. How are you lot looking? Anything limping? Any heads bobbing up and down? Yeah, there's Timmy in the middle there. His head is still bobbing a little bit. But he is walking so much better. Don't even think about it, Roger. Don't even think about it. Don't think about it. I've told you before. Pack it in. Pack it in. Because one day, one day, you're going on your ass. Ah, ah, ah. All right, don't do it, don't do it, pack it in, ah, pepper, pickle, <laughs> the second he went for me, she went for him, which is kind of nice in a way, but I can look after myself, he's a bugger for it though, downside is, as if we get walkers out here and he decides to have a go at one of them. But the problem is, I don't have any fields here that don't have a foot, well, one. One field that doesn't have a footpath through it, which is where the lambs were, and that really, really needs a rest. So there's a bug built up in there. But if Roger doesn't behave himself, he'll have to go up the road. Because he can't afford to have, it's not like he's aggressive, it's kind of passive aggressive. He just wants to assert his authority. Um, but I know him, so I'm ready for him. It's the person who's not ready for him I'm worried about. I've just chucked a golf ball in the stream. And you found it. I haven't chucked it yet. Oi! It's still here. It's good in there. That's too deep for you now, isn't it? Where is it? Where is it? Where? I'm not getting it. No, if you want it, you'll have to get it. I can see it. It's down there. You want it that bad? You'll have to get it. There. That's where it is. How much do you want it? Eh? Look, there's another one. Oh, you mean swine! You chuck that in there too! Look, there, there's two in there. Look.
There's another one. Three! <laughs> Look at her face. If she, no, if, if she could talk, the air would be blue. My, my name would be well beyond mud. <laughs> right, if you want it, you will have to go get it. Oh, sinking, sinking, falling over. You coming then? Come on then. She'll just wait till it stops raining. <laughs> when it's a bit shallower, she'll have all three of them out there, don't you worry. What we go on there? Hmm. So I reckon that's sulfur tufts, not honey fungus. Uh, they only grow on dead wood for some folks so you can eat them. Never looked very appetizing to me though. Just checking my six for that ram. I wouldn't put it past and sneak up on me. Oh, uh, where'd you find that? Let's have it then. Let's have it then. In the ditch over there? Where do you want it, eh? In the ditch over there. Go on then. <laughs> I know, I know, it's rotten. Dog brings me a ball, I throw it in the ditch. And she goes into the ditch and promptly fetches it back out again. I'm assuming the water was a bit shallower there, was it? Hey, not so deep there. Useless sheepdog. All she wants to do is play. You got a mouth for you have got a mouth for the moss. Drop it then. Drop it. Drop it. All right, I'm not picking it up. You're not gonna drop it. You drop it? Nope. Okay. Oh, now you drop it. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't find it, did it? Hey, eh? he did it again. The the, the bugger. Come on. Then. <laughs> she knows where it went, and she's found it. <sighs> ah. That cured you. I know, I'm a rotter, all right? I, I know. Come on. She knows it too, but she still brings it back. The ball is lost for the winter. Come the summer, she'll find it again. 